Hello students, I hope that you are doing well and keeping safe. I welcome you to your SSE class. Today also we are going to use the SSEE MIE book part 2. So you follow with me and be ready with your copy book and your pencil case. Page 4 of the book. Today we are going to continue with Unit 5, My Locality. What is a locality? A locality is the place where a person lives and its surroundings, isn't it? C'est l'endroit où vous habitez. Let us work out on page 4. I write the name of my friend's locality. So you are going to pick and choose a friend of yours and write down the name of his or her locality. Secondly, I write the name of my teacher's locality. So the name of my locality is Cartier Militaire. I'm going to help you to write it down. Here it is. The name of my locality is Cartier Militaire. Now, think and think corner. Why does each locality have a name? According to you, why does each locality have a name? This is so in order to be able to differentiate where a person live, where another person live, in order to know the names of places. Discuss and share. How does the work of a postman becomes easy when names are given to localities? So we are, you think about it and prepare it. When we get back to school, we are going to discuss about it. Don't forget to think and prepare this topic. Words to learn now. We have place. Let us spell place together. P L A C E place. One more time. P L A C E place. One last time. P L A C E place. The second word is surroundings. Surroundings veut dire ce qu'on a autour de nous. S U R R O U N D I N G S surroundings. One more time. S U R R O U N D I N G S surroundings. One last time. S U R R O U N D I N G S surroundings. And lastly, we have locality. L O C A L I T Y locality. One more time. L O C A L I T Y locality. One last time. L O C A L I T Y locality. Good. Now what have you learned? Let us see. The place where I live and its surroundings are called my locality. One more time. The place where I live and its surroundings are called my locality. Next one. Each locality has a name. One more time. Each locality has a name. So as homework, you will have to write down the name of your friend's locality and copy what I have learned corner. I repeat, you will have to write the name of your friend's locality and copy this part what I have learned. 
page 5 of the book, activity 5.1. I identify old and new features in my locality. Old, vieux, new, des nouveautés. You know about the natural features now. Let us observe features like houses, shops, supermarket, and park in Alisha's locality. These features are made by people. They are called man-made features. Donc, ce sont des personnes qui fabriquent, qui construisent tout ça. C'est pour ça qu'on les appelle man-made features. Observe picture 2 below. Can you also see that some features in her locality are old and some features are new? Can you see? For example, we have an old filling station. We have a restaurant and we also have an old Chinese shop. We have the supermarket, we have the bank, we have the post office. All these are man-made features. Let us go and have a look on man-made features. What are man-made features? And let us take a look on man-made features in a locality. My Little World Our family lives in a house. Different families live in the houses around us. These families are our neighbors. The area in which we all live is our neighborhood. In the neighborhood, we have natural features which are put there by God. River, hills, plants with flowers, trees, mountains, forests, and lakes are all natural features. They add beauty to our neighborhood. In the neighborhood, we also have man-made features like markets, schools, and parks built by man the man-made places in our neighborhood. Every neighborhood provides us with what we need to be happy and healthy. Different places provide different services. We have grocery shops and markets with all different items of food. Other shops sell cloth shoes, etc. We have chemist shops that sell medicines. We have to study and become smart. So, we have a school and a college. We all want to feel safe. So, we have a police station with policemen who protect and help us. We want to be healthy. If we get sick, we go to a hospital where doctors treat us. We have a post office to send and receive letters, telegrams and parcels. We have a temple, church, mosque, or Gurudwara, so that we can pray and worship. Man has also made places like playgrounds, theatres, parks and clubs where his family can relax and have fun. The work people do. Everyone has some special work to do. What is an occupation? Occupation is the special work a person does to earn money 
to live and be able to look after his or her family. A doctor makes us well when we are sick. He wears a white coat. A nurse helps the doctor. She looks after us in the hospital. A dentist looks after our teeth. He helps us keep our teeth white and clean. Engineers build buildings, roads and bridges. They make sure that they are strong and built well. The soldier keeps our country and us safe. The farmer grows the food we eat. A policeman catches robbers. There are many other people who work very hard and help us in our daily life. We should always thank the people who provide us with their service every time we interact with them. Always be polite and courteous with everyone. Getting around. Transport means all those vehicles that carry us and goods from one place to another. To go to nearby places, we can walk. Or we can use the bicycle, scooter or auto rickshaw. To travel to places not so close, we can use the bus, car or train. To travel to far off places, we can also use the ship or an aeroplane. In villages, we also see people travelling by tractor and bullock carts. In the city, we see cars, buses, scooters, bikes and rickshaws. These means of transport help us to reach a place faster. They help to carry goods. They help to carry letters and parcels. They have made our lives easier. Do you know the wheel is one of the most important inventions? All the vehicles are able to move because they have wheels. Because of many vehicles on roads, there is a lot of traffic in cities. It is becoming very crowded. We are continuously building flyovers, highways and over bridges. We can help reduce traffic by walking instead of using a vehicle whenever possible. By doing this, we not only save petrol, but also help in keeping the air clean. Now page 6 of the book. This will be your homework. I observe, identify, name and draw old and new buildings in my locality. Question number 1. I observe, identify and name three different buildings in my locality. So it is very easy. With the help of your parents, you ask them what are the buildings that can be found in your locality and you note it down. For example, an example can be post office, police station, filling station, school and so on. Question number two, part A. I name one old and one new building in my locality. So you have to give examples of an old building and of a new one. Obviously, you have to seek the help of your parents for this. Question number two, part B. 
I draw one old and one new building in my locality. Now you will have to draw the old building and the new building that can be found in your locality. Very easy. You ask your parents to help you out for this one. So we have come to the end of this session and I hope that you are learning about your locality well. I thank you for your kind attention and I wish you a happy learning. Stay home, stay safe and be good. Listen to your parents and don't be naughty. See you tomorrow dear students.